All right, first, it's an honor and a privilege to have one of the movie actors of, of your of all time. You've been in more movies than movies that came out in like history. I will, crazy. Vin Ryan, what's going on with you, brother? Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. What's going on? So now, we just, uh, well, you got any project? What's going on? It's been a while since yeah, we've seen you. Yeah, for right. traveling the world. We got another Mission Impossible coming, so I don't want to let the cat out the bag, but it's a great script. You know, me and me and Tom, we, we love doing these Mission Impossibles. We love them. And so now, what you, what, what's been going on with you? It's been a lot. A controversy about actors and all type of things. But have you been keeping up? Yeah, I keep up here and there. You know, I watch. I like to see what's going on in Hollywood. So definitely, if it's de if it's dealing with Hollywood, I definitely stay up with. Okay, so you haven't been so all right. Now, so we don't know if you've been keeping up, but it's been a lot going on with like men in dresses and like Hollywood forcing black men in particular to wear dresses and do certain scenes and things that they wouldn't normally do. What you, have you been either put in that situation or how do you feel about it? I really don't have a problem if it, it fits with the story. If it's not overly gratuitous and disrespectful and demeaning, I don't have a problem with it because I'm, I'm secure in my masculinity, you know, so I have played a role where I wore makeup and wore a dress. Sam. Wait a minute. And I didn't feel like like um I was forced to do that. I wasn't right. chasing the bag. I had a, had enough money in my account. I just thought that it it complemented the role basically. Did it take anything from your masculinity? Not at all, you know. And I, and I heard the stuff that Cat Williams said and and he didn't put me in the discussion, but he talked about Caucasians making African American men do certain things to get to a certain level in Hollywood. I didn't ever have to do that. I, I took on the role where I actually portrayed wearing a dress because I thought it fit the character and you know. But if Cat would have put me in the album, I would have slapped the out of him. I said, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. I'm definitely not one of the ones that he's talking about. <laughs> so now, <laughs> you played a part in the dress and then you've been in a lot of jail movies. You had a lot of things. You never did anything in the they jail movies fit, that I was fit, controversial. I fit the character, no, because I'm, you know, they want me to play a tough guy. I'm really a teddy bear. I mean, so, I'm whipping so but I don't like the So we can kind of say that you've been tight cast. Tight cast, definitely, definitely. Okay. I don't mind. The checks have been good. And so now, with your part in Pope Fiction. How did you feel about the role? Didn't I say that I didn't want to discuss Pulp Fiction? No, we, we wasn't going to bring up what actors. People can check remember, it out I don't if they want to check I, it out. I really don't even but remember how, the film. We wanted to know how did I was you smoking a lot of marijuana role. when I was doing that role, and I really don't remember the film, basically. Some films you forget, you do so many roles. Now, you can ask me anything about Mission Impossible, but I really don't. What was the name of that thing you said? So now, the new Mission Impossible coming out. Can you tell us anything about it? Uh, I can't really speak on it because it's under wraps. But technically, it's going to be the biggest Mission Impossible ever, and we have an all-star cast. Will you be doing anything else with Gilly, the kid? Not at all. I don't. I'm not sure. You know, if Gilly calls me and it, it makes sense, then maybe I'll do something. You know. Because we did like you guys together in the, that movie, you guys. Were, I'm getting, with, I'm, with getting newly, I'm getting hustle. I'm getting newly um, acclimated to to the whole social media thing. So you may see more of me on social media, and and just look look forward to my my, my next project. Oh, thank you. And uh, all right. And so now, one last question before we get you out of here. Yeah. So now, do you have anything that? You wanted to say to like the industry or like black men in particular about the scenes and dresses and is it a problem? Should they do it? Should they not? Should I they... think that everyone is going to be a personal choice and stand true in in what you believe. If you think that that you're trying that they're subjugating you or they're trying to take away your manhood, don't do it. But if you think that it fits the part and it adds to the character, be courageous. And put that skirt on, man. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Go and do it. Put that kill on, do and do the role, you know. Thank you, Ben Ranch, for coming out, talking to the nation. 
Then you, then I'm you glad know. I didn't have to whip no ass down here. I'm glad you covered your question. <laughs> but thanks for having me. Thank you. Memories.